right now. Somebody's already here, um, and we're just walking into the uh, Granite Mills here uh, to do the meetup. So yeah, let's go forward. <laughs> this is the mirrored hallway. Alright, so we're at the table right now. Uh, we have some posters we're giving away and uh, some also some little cards and stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just waiting for people to come. Already two people came, so that might be it. Uh, but we'll see how many people come. So we're finished the Pins Graphics Meetup. Uh, we got quite a few people came. I think like around 10 people, maybe a little less than that. It was awesome to see some good fans. It's a great fans. And uh, yeah, there, really there were some really awesome fans that came. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I think the fact that we changed the spot, uh, changed things up a little bit, because uh, last yeah. minute we had to change where we were. Um, but yeah, now we're just taking the theater to go watch Captain America 2. Um, so yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming. Oh, oh my. Is that no. Is that awesome? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we lost it. We actually lost the ticket uh, when we were we were coming because we bought a ticket to go see uh, Captain America 2 and we lost it between here and there. And so I said, Dad just picked up a ticket from the ground. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, if you were a fan that came, thank you so much for coming. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We're about to go watch the movie. And uh, yeah, see you all next time. Peace. Welcome back to the Vet Vlogs. Today we are doing a quick review of Captain America 2 The Winter Soldier um, because we saw it last night after the Finn's Graphics meetup, which was great by the way. Um, and so yeah, we thought we'd do a really quick review of it and uh, kind of say what we have to say about the movie. So what was your first impression? Well, my first impression actually was uh, the screen. I was kind of disappointed. It was kind of small. It was kind of a small screen. Compared but to what we, we're used to. But we did see it in 3D. So well, yeah. yeah, so that was pretty good. Um, my first impression uh, was that it was really crisp quality, like the quality Super clean. was amazing yeah. and the, the cinematography was great and there was so much action in this movie. So if you're an uh, action fanatic, uh, then definitely watch this movie. Uh, it was awesome for, in that department and uh, it was really cool to see Captain America and kind of what he, um, like what, how he has to deal with being from the past, you know? And uh, they, they kind of showed that a little bit in the first one, or no, in a, wait, what, what was it that they showed that in? That must have been, was it the first one? Avengers? Or yeah, yeah, I think it was like the, the end, no, it was the first one. Yeah, and a little bit, a little one, bit in the Avengers. One. Yeah, it was, it was the first one. one. Yep. And a little bit in the Avengers. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, they really dug into it this time. We got to see, well, he's kind of wrestling with what to do, and uh, he kind of starts having some problems with S.H.I.E.L.D. And uh, I'm going to stop myself there and say that this is a spoiler alert. We're going to spoil Definitely. the whole plot of the movie. Yeah, if you haven't seen Captain America yet, and you don't want... Don't want to, to be spoiled, spoiled then, then turn this video this. off. Yeah, right exactly. Now. Watch it, then turn this back on again. There you go. go and to watch theaters. the ad both times. Yeah, watch the ad twice. Yeah, <laughs> monetization. Okay, so yeah, um, the plot basically is that uh, things are going wrong in S.H.I.E.L.D. and um, they, it turns out that it is Hydra coming back because the main uh, you know, techie guy behind Hydra put himself onto a computer and then like comes back and uh, infiltrates all of um, S.H.I.E.L.D. And so they have to try and take him down and stop him. And Hydra took Captain America's best friend and brought him back and uh, turned him against him. Personally, and so, I thought both of those things in the story didn't work so good. Didn't work so good. So I didn't like, like it. Up until the first half of the Captain America, it was great. I felt like it was the action yeah, and totally. uh, the, the suspense. You're trying to figure out what's going on. But then once you realize what's going on, that's what we're kind of talking about now, is once you realize what was going on in Captain America, you kind of, it's like, oh, it's kind of a lame storyline, actually. It's not that great. Ooh. Ooh. Hitting some slush in the road. It is snowy out here, um, as you can see right now. I'm the last video the you heard about the blizzard. Yeah. Man, I don't think you see a Corvette covered in snow going down the highway very often. No, except for today, you do. <laughs> <laughs> today um, you yeah, do. it is snowy out here. Anyway, uh, back to Winter Soldier. Wow, how you know? Look at that, eh? Yeah, Winter Transition, Soldier. It was eh? like uh, premonition. Or something. Yeah, premonition. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we had to say about it. It's just that it seemed like a really cheesy storyline that they brought his One friend more back. Thing. One more thing. Okay, yeah. so I can't remember his name, but there was the guy that he keeps running past in the beginning and he kind oh, of yeah, de yeah, develop yeah. a character that's yeah, going to be a friend that understands guy. Captain America, yeah, yeah. understands what he's going through, feeling like a fish out of water, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. That was pretty cool, but then, I don't know, like, as much as I liked his flying suit, yeah, it yeah. just... Oh, he just happens to be some guy that was in some top secret thing that has these, that can fly this like eagle wing suit. And yeah. is, is a superhero like? It was pretty cheesy. It just it seemed didn't like, make me believe it. It, it was yeah. in the background that made me believe that that that's the way it would happen. You know? Yep, I agree. It just seemed like it, it seemed like that they just wanted to pull that character in, and like he seemed perfect until that point. You know, like, even when he was helping out, he's like, "Hey, actually, I know this cool thing," and you're like, "Oh, you didn't tell me you were a pilot," and you know, yeah. whatever. The like, suit okay. was cool though. But it was an awesome. And the suit. flying scenes, was so pretty cool. Awesome. Pretty yeah. Awesome. So I feel like I feel like that's what a lot of movies have been doing lately. They're kind of digressing in the fact that they've been getting a lot cooler in the action and, and like filming. the cinematography. Yeah, yep. it's an amazing. This is a bumpy road, jeez. Yeah. Um, but they've been kind of the storylines have just been getting not you know been kind of going downhill. Uh, but I was really excited for this movie because Avengers was a great storyline. Mm -hmm. I feel like that worked out really well. Yes. Because it was a cool teamwork. You know, it was simple but cool. Yeah. And uh, this one, this one just seemed like there was a lot going on that was the kind other of cheesy. thing that left me feeling towards the end of the movie is that like we watch so many movies with shooting and killing and violence and you know I don't mind it so much when it has a real point and it makes you believe that it's part of the story yeah. but this just seemed kind of gratuitous like they were pegging off to me guys that could have been innocent guys Yeah. and they're just killing so yeah. I thought you know as a parent I thought you know what you don't need that much violence yeah it was a lot yeah, it was a lot sure. of violence yep snow the, the other thing that, oh wow geez, there's a lot of snow <laughs> um, the other thing that was interesting is uh um, Natasha Romanoff's character was uh, developed quite a bit in this, um, but they uh, they basically exposed like Shield's dead. Actually, then the very the biggest spoiler here is that Shield was completely demolished um, at the end. They completely got rid yeah. of Shield. Nick Fury's out, um, and so and then Natasha Romanoff had to give out give out all of her secrets about you know Shield and all that stuff to the internet to kind of expose it all, which seemed kind of weird as well. Yeah. Like they can get rid of it, but they just uploaded it all to the internet. Like that also seemed like yeah. okay. Uh, it seemed like wouldn't the government, you know, like the bigger government above them, be like, okay, I know, I know it was all corrupt, but still, you think I they thought, wouldn't let you? I thought, the didn't they already do that in Tron? Kind yeah, of, you know? yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was kind of. Um, I, I, I did really like just the two, the um, seeing Captain America's character develop and the, those three friends, the, Natasha, the black guy, I don't know his name, and uh, them. They seemed like a really, really cool characters that could have been done really well. They also. They were kind of developing like uh, Captain America's romance life. Like it was yeah. kind of humorous at points when yeah. Romanoff was sort of like trying to encourage him to go on a date. Yeah. But it was sort of like a, a love hate thing when what she really wants to do is she wants to be with Captain America. Didn't you sense that? I she was kind sense of a like bit. you know then, I kind of I'm kind of falling for you, but I don't want to admit it, so I'll encourage you to go with someone else so I can be jealous of the person you're going with, so then I can realize I actually like you. That's what it seemed like. <laughs> wow, that's pretty depth. Um, I don't think so though. I think that she's just a really she was a really good friend because remember she could she, be, could she, be. she likes Hawkeye. Remember? Yeah, yeah. That's from, true. The, from the other one, I'm that's pretty true. sure. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, but it could be. But it, it's, it's yeah, hard to know about that. And the other thing is, I felt like they just like and then at the very end they throw in that there's those other guys that have that that wand or whatever the um, Loki's yep. wand. You know? Yeah, I know. So yeah. They're like another teasing for another sequel. It just seemed like. And we ha we can't not finish this without saying that. Bucky being his best friend as now his nemesis, like they kind of overdone that. It's just too predictable. Yeah. It seemed cheesy. I, I almost had to hold my back, myself back from laughing when he when he gets drug up on shore. Yeah. And his buddy's there, and he's like, you know, and, or when he starts punching him in the face because he's like, and and he's like, I'm not gonna fight you because you're my friend. Yeah. You know? And then, and then like, he's like, okay. He starts pummeling him. Yeah. But then after he pummels him, that's when he starts feeling guilty. Oh I don't, my goodness. I don't know. It just. Yeah. It just. Uh, again, yeah, I, I agree. I didn't buy into it. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty much our review of the movie. Great action, great cinematography, not so great story. Let us know in the comments what you think, if yeah. you agreed with anything we said, or if you totally hated what we said. We'd love to know. Yeah, tell us in the comments yeah, below. let us know. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.